What's up guys? Today I wanted to give you a tip with when you're selecting your transistors. Uh, I thought I liked the BC108s and it turns out I didn't so I ordered a couple more transistors and what I have here in front of me is a multimeter from Harbor Freight. It's just cheap ass multimeter and what's good about this one is it tests uh, NPN and PNP transistors. So you plug the transistors in here, it's noted E for admitter, B for base, C for uh, collector. And then also, if you have it backwards, you can do E for admitter, C for collector, and B for base. And the same thing with the PNP. If you want to test if the transistors are good, you're going to select the diode mode here. And you're going to plug the red into your ohms setting and then the black into your ground. So I have the BC108 right here and you can see the tab that's our admitter. Now I know this is a PNP. The easiest way to remember this is PNP Think of P as positive for the base, and then think of the emitter and the collector as negative. So right now, if we move our own meter over that you can see it, we're on the diode setting, it shows 1, which means open. Now if we take our positive lead from the ohm meter and connect it to the center of our, our transistor, that's going to go ahead and indicate positive and then we connect the black which is our ground to the emitter and then we'll see we have a reading of 922 and you can see how the leads are connected up now if we leave that red in the middle and we switch the black to the collector. So now we're on the other leg of the collector. We can see a 915. Now the collector always is a little less, so that tells me that this transistor is good. Now, if we want to go ahead and test the HFE, which is the uh, gain of the transistor. And if you want to match your transistors, we're going to go ahead and switch our multimeter to HFE over here. We're then going to find that little tab, which is the emitter. We're going to go ahead and insert it into the E because we know that's the emitter. The middle on this one is base, so we're going to insert it to B. And then the collector is noted C. And this is going to give us the gain. This is going to be how much gain we have. So if we push that in, you can see in the Harbor Freight ones, uh, kind of, you have to kind of twist it. It doesn't want to stay in the socket. So hold that in there for a minute. And you can see that ends up right around 250. If we pull that out, so I got some... 2N5088s. Now this is a, 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 an NPN2, the flat you can see right there. Our admitter on this one is left, which most of them are, but you got to look at the data sheet. Middle is base and then collector is the same uh, as the other one and that's on the right. So we're going to measure the HFE on this by inserting it the same way. And this is how you can match your transistors. So we're just going to stick that in there and you can see that's 410, 409. So let's test another one. Same one, uh, it's a 2N5088. And insert that one. And you can see, like I said, with these Harbor Freight ones, uh, the sockets aren't really great. So that's going to fluctuate around there until I make contact 
Okay, there you go. Uh, there, 410. So that's a match transistor right there. And then I have another one out here. And I bought a pack of 20. So let me insert another one. Okay, now that one you could see is 401, so it's a little less. So that's the way you match your transistors. Now I just want to say the higher the number, the more you're going to get distorted sound. It's going to be that square wave that you're looking for. So uh, it's something you want to look up when you're uh, checking out transistors, the gain range. You don't want to go too high, but... 400 to 800 is optimal. Now, uh, the BC-108s that I got were Bs, and when I looked up the C, that was right in the 400 to 800 range. Now, these uh, 2N5088s, they're in the range of 400 to 900. And uh, the Bs, I think they were in the range of two to 400, I forget. 